Hey everybody, it's Kim Hawk and I'm known as YouTube's Fairy Godmother of Real Estate, but I'm also known as the near Disney lifestyle person. And what we've been doing, it's the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company this year, 100 years. And so we've been looking for special things that have been going on within a 25 mile radius around Cinderella's castle. And we've got an exciting announcement tonight to share with everybody. It's first ever, first ever. So there's a lady by the name of Pat Schroeder. She was a congresswoman from Colorado and lived in the town that Disney built called Celebration Florida. And she was so inspirational. And she, one of the things she said, we need to inspire young people that are going to make this world a better place. So on behalf of Near Disney, we've asked for nominations for people to say, okay, who are those? And you could be anywhere between the ages of three and 18 years old, three and 18. And guess what? Our first winner, her teacher nominated her, her teacher. So we have tonight, we have Jesse online right now. Jesse, you want to say hi? Hello. And Jesse, where do you teach and what do you teach? I teach at Celebration K-8 and I teach sixth grade world history, eighth grade world history and AVID. Ooh, that sounds like that's a lot on your plate. But I love the fact that you sent in a nomination where the steering committee said, hands down, this has to be our first winner. And our first ever winner of this award is Sadie Moore. And Sadie is on here with us tonight, too. Yay. Yay. Why don't we go ahead and get started with maybe, uh, Jesse, if you want to read what you uh, sent in, what you wrote to us. Sure. Sadie is a sixth grade student who brightens the world. She balances an advanced course load with competitive dance and makes it look easy. She earns honors in both and remains humble always. Sadie goes out of her way to help her classmates, her teachers, and to brighten people's day. Sadie is going to change the world and I'm honored to be part of her journey. <gasps> Sadie, did you hear all that? I did. What do you think of all that? I think that's very kind. Um, I'm so happy for that you are one of my teachers and um, <laughs> and I love getting to see you every day in class. And I me too. <laughs> that's going to make me cry. You know what? I think if the world was full of just fabulous teachers like your teacher and students like you, we would it would just be 100% joy all the time. You can see I've got the word joy in my background. I'm all about wanting the world to have more joy. But let's talk about you, Sadie. So you're in the sixth grade, is that right? Yes. And you have some extracurricular. Not only do I hear from this nomination it, that you are wonderful in school, you've also got some extra talents outside of school. Is that correct? Yes, I, um, I dance with um, Emotion Dance Project and I'm a competitive dancer. Oh, so when you say that, um, what kind of dance do you do? Multiple types of dance? Yeah, I pretty much do all styles of dance. That's got to be a, commi a big commitment because I'm sure you've got a lot of schoolwork and now you're probably spending a lot of time at the dance studio, right? So that takes a lot of determination and and, and whatnot, right? Yeah, um, it's sometimes hard to like balance homework and stuff, but I, I can do it and then I also do what I love after it. So. I love that. So as in regards to how long have you lived in the town that Disney built? Have you been here since you were born or did you move yes. from someplace? You have. So you're 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 an original. Yes. There's not many people that can say that. My daughter, Ashley, who's now 30 uh, years old, she was born in uh, Orlando. But um, yes, yeah, so it's really nice to see when somebody has been part of Celebration from the beginning and has gone up through school and now you're in the sixth grade. Yes. <laughs> mm, yes. So talk to me a little bit about, a lot of times we'll ask people, what do you want your legacy to be known for? Well, because you're in the sixth grade, I'm gonna ask you just the opposite. I'm gonna ask you in 20 years, where do you think you will be? What do you wanna be when you're 20 years older? Um, I would like to, of course, I would like to be a dancer, but also I would like to be known for like being a kind person, almost like Pat Schroeder. And like, because I, yeah, because she was just a great woman. And I, don't know. I love that. You know, Pat Schroeder, many of the things, and I'm, I love the fact that you brought up her name, you know, because of Pat Schroeder, women have the right to do many things that 
she didn't have when she was younger, right? Yeah. So she was 15 years old when she first got her pilot license. She was one of the first women to be in Congress. Do you know back in the day, if a woman went to try to go buy a car by herself, they wouldn't be allowed to because they couldn't get credit. And yeah. so Pat Schroeder is the one that really made the way for a bunch of us. The Family Leave Act, so like when somebody's getting ready to have a baby or somebody gets sick and they need time in order to be with family, that was all about Pat Schroeder. So when she was making the world a better place, she was doing some things that not only helped her family, help, you know, the whole country, the whole world. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And I think teachers do that too, don't you? Yes, I definitely agree. So what do you like most about your teacher right here, Jesse, while she's here? I love that she just like understands the mind of a sixth grader. Like she just, she knows like, like she just knows like what, like go through and stuff like that. <laughs> well, you know, that's very important because she's connecting with you and she's engaging with you. And she's really, you know, I think about back on my life, one of my favorite teachers ever was in my, was sixth grade. You know, because I was at the age where I understood that person was a role model for me, that they really cared about me, that they were trying to prepare me for the world. And so when I see that a teacher who's very, very busy takes time and writes such a beautiful nomination of a young person, I've got to say she needs to be applauded too, yeah? Yes. Yes. So one of the things that's going to happen, obviously we're going to put, there's going to be a yard sign. It's going to say that your first ever Pat Schroeder award, we're going to have this on YouTube, somebody out there on YouTube, look for her while she's dancing too. Um, but we're also doing something else. So Pat Schroeder who traveled around the world and did so many big things. One of the things she loved the most Sadie was ice cream. Yeah. So we're partnering with the downtown diner in celebration and we're, we are creating a Pat Schroeder milkshake. And so what we want to do, not only for you, we also want to do for your teacher, is we're going to arrange so that you guys go to the diner and get a free milkshake. But you also have the opportunity, if you ever wanted to, I know that um, Adrian Perez has offered, they do a weekly video where they do like a fun video from the diner. So if you ever wanted to be in a video and be talent, He's inviting the two of you if you ever want to do that. So if you're not shy, <laughs> you can be in one of these videos and watch, they'll go viral. And then before you know it, instead of being discovered for dance first, it might be because you're on YouTube and then it's that you're a dancer, right? Yes. <laughs> so is there anything that you want to tell young people? Would you encourage young people with anything in particular? What do you want to say to people that are your age? I want to say like, if. If you want to do something, like do it. Like don't hold back and like, yeah, <laughs> like don't hold back what you want to do. Don't hold back. I like that. Cause you can probably say it's not easy, right? You know, you got to get up early or stay late. Cause I know with your schedule too, you're probably not even getting home until like 8.30 at night or nine o'clock at night before you even get to do some of your homework, right? So yeah. I think what you're saying too is, you know, do it, but you've got to be committed. It just doesn't easily come to you. Would you say that? Yeah. 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 So let's ask our teacher, what words would you like to share with anybody out there? Well, first I wish I could have a whole classroom full of Sadie. I would just clone her and have a whole classroom full of Sadie. Uh, every day I get to see her discipline and drive and hard work and she just impresses me every day um, so I would like to encourage other young people to first of all just be kind um, everything that Sadie does is always kind she's always caring always thinking about other people and how she can help people and that just makes the world a better place Aww. And you know, I think Congresswoman Pat Schroeder would would want her first winner to the big first word would be kind because that's what Pat was all about. You know, be kind to one another, help one another, support one another, and then the world's gonna be so much better, right? So what we are saying is with Pat Schroeder, life was sweeter in celebration with her here. And so now that we are going to award you with her first award, I definitely, definitely agree that you should win. 
and um, knowing that in about 20 years uh, you're going to be one of the leaders too. So let me ask you this too, because as we continue to ask for nominations, we're going to do this for about a year. So we ask nominations from teachers, from parents, but Sadie, I'd like you to think of somebody too, because I think if a nomination came from you, our original winner, when you have time, doesn't have to be this week, it could be in a month. But if you want to think of a nomination of somebody, someone between three and 18 years old, I think that's going to go a very long way with the judges, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we just want to have as many Sadies as we possibly can. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Well, I will follow up with both of you in regards to when the ice cream opportunity is going to be about and then also when the sign is. But Sadie, thank you so much for being our first official winner of the Pat Schroeder Award. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, Sadie. Thank you. And aren't we proud of your teacher, too? Yes. Very proud. Yes. Yes. And actually, I keep saying by your first name, but I guess we should be saying Miss Lehman, right? Here I am just going in and saying first names, but you know, as all students out there, we want to show respect to our teachers and you are an incredible teacher. I've heard it from many people, many people. So thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right, guys, have a great night. Thank you. All right. And thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Make sure that you subscribe and like so that we can continue to give you up-to-date information on all things that are going around the 25-mile radius of Cinderella's Castle because this is truly a magical place to live. Mm -hmm.